hello everybody, my name is Kevin Hossman, and I'm going to show you how to get this effect in Sony Vegas. Let me just show you what the effect should end up looking like. Um, it should go like, one section's clear, and the other part is unfocused and blurry, and it goes to being focused. Um, now, I already have a version here that's already all sped up and has everything done with it. And then, I'm just going to start from scratch so you can see how to do it. Now, you do have to use magic bullet looks for this, but if you're my friend on Facebook, I have a link for it. Or, if you just PM me on YouTube here, I'll send you a link to it. I'll give you the, um, I'll give you the magic bullet looks and the keygen for it, so... I can get you all set up with it. Okay, so what we're going to do is get our clip here. I'm going to use a different one, but it's going to give you the same effect. Uh, let's go ahead and put that into Vegas. Um, uncheck maintainment aspect ratio, put a 16 to 9 widescreen on it. Alright. No, we have to speed it up because I recorded this in 8 times slow motion for the beauty of NRO3. Uh, Alright, so what we're going to do is select the part where we want it to go like fade from being at the top up here to being at the bottom down here. So I think that's going to be about right here. So I'll select that out, and then we'll put it to here. Um, we're going to enter a new video track, copy this. Then we're just going to paste it with Control V. Delete this extra audio track. You can delete this one too. I don't record audio in my game, so I just have it with music, and then. Right here, I'm not going to put the fade on it yet, but we're going to go into Magic Bullet Looks, and I'm going to show you how to get to how to get the fade in there in the blur. Uh, what we're going to do is go into Magic Bullet Looks. Oh uh, crap! It's been a while since I've actually just used this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Lens on here. Uh, we're going to add in some swing tilt. Now what we're going to do with this is like. This is like side to side, and then this is up and down. Like, you notice where the bar is is where it's focused on, where it's not blurred. As you move it down, and it'll go down. Um, what you have to do is do there. And then I personally like to have these maxed out, so that it's got like the biggest area of focus. Right here, we're gonna have the blur size be 10 for greater blur effects doesn't matter about that actually so now you see whenever we finish off the background is going to be all blurred up like that and so we're just going to put this here uh, so you can see down here it shows you where the blur starts you can even mess around with this all that you want that just makes it so that it's blurred up more actually I think I'm going to go with that yeah I'm going to go with that and I usually set my quality to 5 I hard to get this one in where you want it to be though. Alright, so now we have it set. Um, go ahead and move the Y. Um, yeah, kind of screwing stuff up, my bad. That's fine. I don't care. It's perfectly normal there. Um, Alright. So, got my blur all set up. Click finished. We're going to save this as tut blur bottom. Save that. Alright, now we're going to have this. Alright, so you see how you get the blurring effect there at the bottom where the cars are. And then, 
for this, we're going to put this one on the bottom. Just come up here, put the blur bottom on there, and then make it fade out. This one we're going to make fade in so that the blur will kind of cross up and go over into the top. And then basically what I just do is I go in here, I put tut blur bottom on there, I just edit it, oh crap, uh, go in here, edit it, just like that, and then just move the bar, move the bar down to where you want the blur to come in at, where you want the blur not to be at, my bad, uh, and just click finished, and save it as tut blur top. Save that. And then you go in over here into your other clip where it fades in. Put the top blur top on that. And then there you go. It'll be blurred out. And then it'll switch up and be blurred at the top. Let's go ahead and give that a render out. We don't really need too much of the cars going by. I'll just make this five seconds long. Watch some fade. Gotta love fade. Always love fade. Ever since I got Vegas, I've always put fade in my videos. Alright, so that's what it's gonna look like. At least render as using my HD settings Let's go ahead and render no don't run over my untitled Tut. there you go render out might take a minute or two but meh okay a few minutes I'll just start recording once this finishes Actually, I forgot to do something else for this. Alright, now, you see how I get motion blur on there? That's because I forgot to disable resample. For this, you're going to want to disable resample and put a little bit of sharpening on your images. It'll just give it that extra effect. So what you do is you select all the clips, go into switches, uh, disable resample, and then you'll want to find sharpen over here. Not sepia, sharpen. And I made my own. They're pretty heavy. But it's just to give it that special effect look. See, it makes quite a bit of difference on this, especially since it's going to be being blurred out. You don't want it all the way up, but I set mine pretty close. I set mine to 0.737, so it it's pretty clear. And then in the back, it'll still be blurred out. And yeah, I just put that on all my clips. and they all have it so let's go ahead and start this render again also just as a little side note for whenever you're rendering I always render about a second of extra black screen but for time purposes I'm just gonna render out just five seconds cause it's four in the morning and I always have it to loop the render to loop the or render the loops section only. I can't talk at 4 in the morning. Uh, and just render as tut that WMV and for time's sake 4.8 megabytes HD 720 video. That should be like a minute. Yep, 40 seconds. So that's how you get the effect and thank you for watching everybody. I will play the full clip after this. So this again, thank you for watching. I'll probably make more tutorials in the near future because Magic Bullet Looks is an awesome program and you can do a lot of different things with it. Thanks, guys.